today's we are going to show you that how can you download the composer and how can you install the composer and uh, how can you download your coding nighter setup by using the composer make sure i have already downloaded it and i have already installed the composer so don't worry we are going to do it again so i'm saying cmd so this is a command prompt just write composer here composer hit the enter button uh, because i have already downloaded it so that's why it's saying that uh, i am the composer the version 1.6.5 and now i'm going to delete this from my computer so as you can see this is the com composer php dependency manager we have already discussed that php Compo sorry, Composer is a PHP dependency manager. You can download the dependencies by using the PHP, uh, sorry, Composer command by using the Composer. We will discuss about in the later lectures. And uninstall, yes, yes, I'm saying uninstall. I'm saying from the Dell or from the Roaming. Now select all and I'm saying okay. So I'm uninstalling my Composer. So I have successfully uninstalled. So now I am saying CMD. Now if I say the composer, so as you can see, it's saying composer is not recognized as an internal or external command because uh, we have not installed the composer. I am saying composer. Write the composer in Google. So as you can see, this is the composer and this is the download link. You can also click on this one or also click this one. So, while I'm recording this lecture, the current version of the composer is 1.8.4. Now I'm saying the composer download. I'm downloading this in the SU docs. You can also keep this file at everywhere where you want to keep this. I'm saying just click on this. Now it's saying yes. I'm saying developer mode. They are saying just check if you or if you need the developer mode take control and just install composer and install ok i'm saying you can also click on this if you need next here check your directory where you want to install this bad boy just next and now if you use the proxy just check the checkbox and enter the proxy i am not using the proxy just click on this as you can see uh, it's automatically detected detected the version of the coding uh, sorry php so as you can see the php version is 7.2.5 install so now we are installing the composer and now i'm saying next and i'm saying new online document you can also check if you want to do the online documentation click so we have successfully installed so now if you go to the home so this is the dependency manager for the php and uh, you can also view the documentation here oh, okay so it's totally depend upon you now go to the cmd i'm going to close this one and i'm saying the cmd now if i say the composer okay so as you can see we have the composer version 1.8.4 now how can you download the coding nighter setup by using the composer we have already downloaded by manually but now i'm going to download this bad boy by using the composer i'm saying cd cd and i'm saying erir make sure i have installed xamp inside my c drive so that's why i'm saying cd Send htdocs and now i am saying dir so i have a lot of uh, projects in this uh, in this folder now i am saying the composer make sure this is the syntax to download the composer sorry to download the coding editor so write the composer and i am saying create dash project coding editor for make sure app starter you can write anything xyz so this is the folder name i'm saying s beta so now why i'm writing the app starter so because 
this command uh, will create app start folder in the Azure Docs. So now I'm saying enter. So wait for few seconds. So it can automatically download all the things. Now if I say that properties and font, I'm going to increase the font. I'm just going to decrease the fonts. Or 24 is enough. So now as you can see, sorry, wait for a few seconds so it can download the okay now uh, it's downloading the coding writer for beta version so as you can see okay download it so now it's giving you some warning you know this now i'm saying go to the folder and find the app store Here, here is the app starter. Start. Okay, so now as you can see, we have three files app, public, and the right tables. We will discuss about the folder structure in our later lectures, but for now, we have three folders. Make sure we don't have the system. So, we will discuss about the system. As you can see, we have download, download this version from the GitHub accounts. So that's why we have uh, this system directory. So once they launch the production version, so this will also available. But when you download this version, uh, make sure I am talking about the coding it for version via composer. So as you can see, it's only giving you three. So I am just ignoring this. We are keeping these files to continue further. So in this way, you can download the coding nitrate by using the composer. We have already downloaded and uh, we have already discussed that how can you download manually so i think this is enough for today in the next lecture we are going to cover uh, the folder structure that uh, how folder structure works and what are the new things included in ci4 whenever i say ci4 that means i'm talking about the coding nighter make sure i already told you guys that if you are familiar with coding editor 2 or coding editor 3 it's a plus point so if you are not familiar with them don't worry i will explain each and everything in this series so thank you for watching